I'm gonna make chai for you guys. Yeah, I'm gonna make chai. Yeah, because I keep saying chai time, chai time, and this time I'm gonna make it because uh, I think I, I want to show you guys how I make chai because I take chai very seriously. Okay. So. <laughs> yeah, it's serious shit. Like I wanted to. Uh, what? <laughs> yeah. This is off. Okay. So I wanted to actually cook it in the stove, but uh, that would be insane, right? <laughs> if I got like a stove and I got like a gas, you know, that will be crazy. So I have to get this induction cooker and it's great. I think the technology is amazing, you know, but it's, it's, it's kind of tough to make chai on this uh, because with the stove, like the heat is very, very gradual, you know, it's like a car. It's like an internal combustion car and just accelerate so this induction cooker is like this Tesla cars, dude. You know, this electric cars, where it's just like, whoa! It's just, it's either it's not boiling or your family died in a milk drowning accident. It's just very extreme. So I get very scared using this, but I have to. So this is the uh, official chai making button. This is a little intimidating, though. What is it? Put weights and fucking do curls. Yeah. So the chai button is this and uh, obviously at home I don't cook chai, like, I don't make chai like this, yeah? It's not like, oh, lovely. Uh, um, all my ingredients are already cut. <laughs> Wonderful. Elizabeth, are the horses well? You know, just, no, it's, <laughs> usually I just wake up in the morning. <laughs> but you know, Presentation is everything, <laughs> you know. Now chai is all about proportion, right? That's I'm going to say it out there. It's all about proportion. If you get the proportion wrong, it's really bad. <laughs> it really depresses me. Like yeah. you see the color only, you're like, oh my god, yes. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's gutter water basically. <laughs> like if you get the proportion wrong, okay. So the proportion for good chai is this much milk yes. and this much water. I could say one fourth, but it's not right. It's a feeling. <laughs> it's not a proportion. You do, you pour the milk in like, <coughs> <coughs> that's it. That's the, you're not like, oh, mathematically, Edison. It's not like that. It's, it has to be one fourth. And as you can see, my really American poster <laughs> milk. <sighs> I felt like it should make that sound. Today, <laughs> all my characters are gonna be British today. Hello, my name is Milky Doolite. <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna put some milk. Uh, 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 uh. Yep, it is correct. <laughs> now the thing is, I know how much milk this cup needs. If you change this to a different cup, I'm like, oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> like, I don't know how much to put. Okay, so we put this much. You know what's amazing right now? That you guys paid 500 bucks to watch me, chat. <laughs> That's why I do comedy, guys. Just to push the boundaries of mediocrity. It's just my favorite. Okay. Hey, if water falls in the induction cooker, will we all die? <laughs> I just feel like any new technology, I get damn freaked out. Because you guys are reacting like, no, not the velvet cloth. That's the one thing induction cookers hate. Don't you know the great war of induction and velvets? Now we do scary shit. <laughs> yes. Now this is the time where amateurs will wait for it to boil. <laughs> While pro tea makers know that this is the time where they can make conversation <laughs> with their friends in the living room. Because cooking is a very lonely, lonely profession where if you volunteer to cook, you're going to miss out on the party. That's a sad truth. Even though you're serving everybody. So this is the part like, hey, I easily have like 40 seconds. So what is the great conversation they're having outside? Because no one will come with you to give company for tea. Maybe biryani, yeah. Because that takes effort. But tea, they're like, yeah, hey, you just go alone and make it. You know? So you come out and like, yeah, then, then, what, then what happened? Oh my God, really? Tell them that Goa story. Yeah, just tell them that Goa story, you know? And some fucker in the group like, hey, bro, the, mi the milk might, the milk might. I know. <laughs> now at this point, 
some people have already disagreed with me because some weird people boil the water and then they add the milk yeah yeah i call them mass murderers <laughs> yeah i have done a study all of them went on to murder people you have to boil the water the milk together you have to both of the ingredients have to meet first you have to chill with each other for a bit get a connection going so when it starts boiling with passion that's when suhagrat happens yeah which is tea leaves now the thing is <laughs> like genuine people when they like cook like they cook for so long they just fucking throw so i don't cook much so i really enjoy the process of making chai so even the little step i'll try to like make it fashionable like, oh it's a tea leaves let me spread it ah uh, oh this week in master chef australia uh, yeah again got to make it all hey we're going to be laughing sometimes <laughs> fuck yeah <laughs> i meant to do that so uh there's some finely chopped garlic garlic <laughs> which is I was saying garlic which is also commonly paired with ginger. <laughs> Everybody is an expert. <laughs> Put some adrak. <laughs> yeah, I know that shit. Put some adrak. Now this is already chopped, okay? Which uh, I've never done in my life. Cuz when you look at ginger you're like, "Hey, ni ve ragli." <laughs> Why should I, if I like when you most vegetables when you peel them they look wonderful like oh, <laughs> like potato like oh my god I'm so slippery oh my god I'm so fat right now that's how potatoes look when they are like peel ginger like I am still ugly <laughs> I'm still ugly okay I think the chai is done now this, this is the fun part <laughs> sorry is this a challenge Just a motherfucking challenge. <laughs> She challenged me, dude. That's all a man has. His self-esteem. Oh god, I don't think I can. <laughs> I don't care. I'll do it. I'm a crazy motherfucker. Hey, with one hand, I'm a champion. Yeah, come on. You should give me leave, you know. This is a very weird word, leave. <laughs> It is right. Why is it leave? Who's leave anyway? And why is he always getting his way? Why can't it be Kumar way or Am way? Oh, that's a company. Ah! Yeah. Okay. The so chai is ready. Now the thing is, I'm Malayali. There is one step. Yes, which is add coconut. Yeah, add coconut. You are racist. <laughs> this has to stop. I can't do th- I can't do this shit anymore. If you don't put <laughs> coconut in everything. No, I genuinely feel he think we do. It's not like at funerals when people have died like his last coconut and <laughs> coconut jesus <laughs> how could you ruin tea i just don't understand yeah i'm not going to do that step cuz he's going to make a mess yeah yeah i just made chai for myself <laughs> yeah awesome so now i can have my chai okay so a lot of people ask me why some people genuinely ask me they're like hey man We are alone now. Do you actually like chai? And I'm like, yeah, I actually like chai. I love chai. Uh, but, but like all my fondest memories have been like, you know, when you go to the mountains and you drive up the hill, you know, because that's one process you have to go through, you know. <laughs> and you go up the hill, and then you just use, like looking for excuses to stop, right? Because you want to enjoy the scenery. Like an excuse of like, oh my God, this is a tree I haven't seen before is a very lame. excuse so like hey it's chai and you go get down you have chai you know and 
the best conversations I've had is over chai. I mean, alcohol also, you have great conversations, okay? I'm not saying it doesn't, but it always leads to something else. Uh, the reason I like chai is because it reminds me of my mom. So, my mom is stays in uh, Bangalore. I just moved to Bombay and I'm super homesick. So, f my mom and my relationship is very formal, no? Because my dad's like, like you, have you, you know, what, you've seen my dad in my videos. Yes. Yeah, he's too chill nowadays. <laughs> I mean, little worrying. Like, it's weird because now I'm his dad, okay? <laughs> like, before my dad used to be like, you know, dad type, like, you know, stay at home, I'm coming at eight. Now, if I'm going out, my dad's like, hey, where are you going? I'll also come with you. <laughs> okay, dad. <laughs> so, but he's adorable. So, we have a very good relationship. My mom and me are very formal. It's also because of uh, the language barrier, because my mom speaks Malayalam and I speak bullshit. Uh, <laughs> so, we, we get lost in translation. And also my mom is pretty formal, like my mom's a badass. Like my dad's very like, he's an emotional guy. You know, when we have fights, when, when my brother used to have fights, my, 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 my dad used to be like, why are you guys fighting? You know, you guys are brothers, you should, the brother born is the best. My mom's like, hey, when I was young in the village and all, my sister died suddenly and we didn't cry, like my mom's, and it happened, I think it did happen. My mom's very hardcore, she has a point. She's, she sees this as all petty shit. It's all petty shit for my mom. Uh, so she's full hardcore. So we all have a very formal relationship. But recently I've been developing a good relationship with my mom. Because uh, I've dated some wonderful people and they have put me in touch with my emotions. Because till then, staying with guys is a little tough. Like, we're this close to murdering, right? So, so the women are kind of like, but why do you want to murder? And I, you ask yourself, why do I want to murder? And then you realize you get in touch with the emotions. So I'm trying to develop uh, this relationship with my mom and mom's not a talker. <laughs> so whenever I go back home, I'm like, hey, hang on, ma. She's like, good, shut up. And <laughs> she goes back. And again, my mom is, uh, she's done a huge sacrifice, you know, like she takes care, take care of me and my, my dad, me and my brother and this fourth guy, I don't know. Um, <laughs> I don't know, he keeps coming to us. <laughs> and <laughs> And the amount of sacrifice she's done, like if I think about it, it'll just depress me. And like she's always put us first. So I'm like, how the fuck do I have moments with her? So she's super nourishing. Like she always wants to take care of me. So when I go home, my mom will ask me this incredible question. Chai and Dakate, which in Malayalam means, should I make some chai? Are you Malayali? Yeah. Oh, okay, thank God. Because that'll be very weird if you're just <laughs> nodding. I could have said, hey, scratch your bum. Like, <laughs> and you're like, yeah. <laughs> That's why I'm just cross-checking. A lot of liars in the audience. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, so, and I respond with ah. Because ah is less arrogant than yes. <laughs> or make chai for me. Or ah, thank you, Anam, which is I want. Um is surrender. It's like yes, do do what you do. Take care of me. So my mom makes chai. So when I make, when <laughs> my mom would be sitting in front of me, still we won't have a conversation. Because my mom's just like, you know, one's the one. She's like, if I could revisit that fight, who would I murder? Like my mom, that, that's what she does all day. She just revisits the fights she's had in her lives and how she would have <laughs> straight up murdered everybody. I think murder is the theme of today. So that's what she keeps thinking. And no conversation is as exciting as that. So I'll give, so we really talk about tea. Like she's like, chai and I'm like, chai. Uh, so we just keep talking about that. And so for chai for me is home. Chai for me is my mom. And that's why chai time is the best time. That's why, yeah, that's why it is. Thank you. Now the chai is cold. Fuck! <laughs> Did you like the video? Like, share, subscribe. Awesome.